to Harms. He'll have to hurry over Mackay's head, unluckily for him, straight to Bar. Barham, a long one downfield where Jones has got the chance to do something about it again here. Well played, Ashman. Out towards Austin. Austin recovers it nicely. Mark McClure and Billy Pick and Pick and Mark number seven. He's killing him out to Barham. Barham then shoots them down to the goal square. Peter Moore from behind. Ball was taken away from him by Wearmouth and he played it long enough. Well, that'll be interesting to watch. There's Worthington down. But Moore juggled and juggled and juggled. And to whether he truly had possession is under the umpire's decision. He gave it. And Moore's on a 45-degree angle, about 15 metres out, shoots for goal and puts it. And that's goal number three to Peter Moore. Scoreboard, very interesting. One goal the difference. 5 9 to 4 9 with Carlton in front. Worthington over the top, second man for the back line, it's Wearmouth, they're starting to get the ball out of the centre, up to full forward, kick one hand, going to get a free kick, going to be a free kick paid, and it's going to Kink, he can't believe it, he was hanging on, and he's going to get the free kick. Well, there you are, that's an incredible one, umpire Nash. Austin, who was handing, uh, Kink was handing on to. Yes, it might have happened before, I think, when Kink went for the goal. That's my only moment, went for the mark, it's my only guess. Barham giving him instructions on the strength of the win. It's going right across him. Kink, chance to level the score. He has. At the five-minute mark of the third term, and that's his second goal. Kink two and more three have been the Collingwood goal scorers. Scores level five minutes into the third term. Well, Rene Kink uh, could have had four quite comfortably. He missed one unbelievably easy one in the second term. But two goals is still a fine effort, and he's been a very dangerous player. He's a fine team player. There's the captain, Len Thompson. Umpire behind him is umpire Sutcliffe. But umpire Nash will bounce it. And the huge crowd simmering with excitement as the scoreboard is level and Thompson thumps it down past Stewart. An opportunity there for Collins. Hand passes back to Armstrong. Armstrong shepherded. Boots Carlton into attack and picking again. Picking again. He's been a great player. Mark number eight and they've been some sores. Bill Pickin down to the half forward line. Oh, Stewart could have been a play, that one he is. Interchange player, good mark. Downfield, Peter Moore and Southby. Southby punches away, Bond is underneath it. He's got tons of pace to Shane Bond. Screws it back down towards that forward pocket. A great leap from behind by Worthington. He is unsuccessful, ball out of bounds. Throw in from the side, the behind post. Scores level. The Magpies deep into attack. Jones in front of Moore. Moore over the back. Shark there by Harms. Beautiful clearing kick. Keo from behind. Morris, free kick to Morris. He didn't have the ball. He's trying to burst his way through the pack. 14th kick for Morris. Centering the ball. Kink leads. Austin, kink. Austin, off hands. Up by Sutcliffe will bounce on the bottom of the pack bond of Collingwood. 39 apiece, six minutes gone, third term. Jones beautifully to Towns. Towns out to Keo and Morris. Morris falls over at the crucial moment, so Keo will run. Too far for Fitzpatrick Perry, one hand, not good enough, but his recovery is good. 
Back towards Morrison, Keogh again. Out of bounds on the full. Free kick to Carlton will be taken by Keogh on the outer wing. Ball is trundled back by Dennis Collins to his teammate Keogh. Keogh tries the short one to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick straight underneath it. Chance for Towns is pushed. The umpire indicates it'll be thrown. Over the line he was, out of bounds. Fitzpatrick up to date, certainly out of touch in his timing of his leaps. He gets front position, Thompson wins it. Chance for McClure, McClure fumbles very badly, still gets a left foot to it and boots it downfield. McConville should be paid off. Around the necks is the umpire and pays a free kick and it certainly was very, very close that the mark could have been awarded. McConville, a wonderful contester, has kicked two goals is about 35 metres out, almost directly in front, kicking to the Carlton stand, Peter McConville, high, high, not very straight, unfortunately for the Blues, that's one behind, and the scoreboard shows 40 points to 39 with Carlton in front. McCormack looks for Pickin, McClure's in front, Beautiful thump by Pickham. Jones will have a kick. Back to Pickham. Who says thank you. That's his ninth mark to Max Richardson. Straight down the ground, the Magpie's going now. Oh, Brown and Stewart. Brown's the mark. Stewart claiming it. Brown in front. Good decision by John Sutcliffe. Brown going to the member's side, looking for McClure. Over the top. Interferes with Pickham. He'll get the free kick. Pickin absolutely killing McClure. He certainly is at centre half back. Downfield, Kink's in great position. Kink was in perfect position. He's off for the run. The hand pass is given out to Max Richardson. He's under pressure from Austin. Gets away from him. Gets past Mackay and puts it right through. Right through Max Richardson. Great football. Collingwood have hit the front in the third term at the 10-minute mark. There's the man who put Collingwood in front. 5-10 to 6-9. What great play by Kink to set up that goal by Richardson, who tapped it off. There he is. Max Richardson putting the Magpies in front for the first time since the first term. And we're away again. It's Jones and Thompson with Worthington to assist. Keogh trying to burst through, gets a grab when he didn't have the ball. Keogh will get the free kick for Carlton in the centre of the ground. The Magpies playing strongly in this third quarter. Keogh towards centre half forward. Off hands to Towns, kick is well smothered. Cotogio, he's caught without the ball, and Cotogio at centre half forward gets the free kick. Magro went over the top of him and will be penalised 15 metres. Costly play. 15 metres, a generous 25, and this brings Cotoggio well within scoring range when he would have been out of distance. Yes, it was a very, very bad decision. Magro still talking, still talking to the umpire. Thompson pushes the umpire aside gently. Be careful of that one, Big Lent. Morris pulls Magro away, and if he kept talking, it would have been another 15 metres. Here's Cotoggio directly in front, 30 metres out from goal, a chance to put the Blues back in the lead. He has... it back in front by a point to Toggio's first goal. Well, an interesting series of incidents there. The six-minute mark, the 11-minute mark in the third turn. Oh! Alex Jesilenko signalling to the runner to come out. He wants to transmit a message, and Captain Coach is a very owner of stars. 46 to 45. Peter Jones, Greg Towns beside him. Worthington the thumper and hits it 25 metres downfield and Max Richardson leads in the race. A good tackle by Brown. A very good tackle by Brown. And Brown is off. Boots Carlton down to the weather captain. Jezelinko in trouble, ball, strong arms. Out to Armstrong is great football. 
Great tackle here, Mount. Beautifully taken, Armstrong. McClure's up high. Nicely taken there by McCormack to Pickin. And Pickin will take two free kicks if he wishes. Twice he's infringed on. And Bill Pickin has been one of the stars of the match. That centre-half back is William Pickin. Probably best on ground, Doug, at this stage. Wobbly kicking to the centre. Max Richardson and Pennell. The ball bounces free. Awkwardly, down to Jones who played the roving role. Cleverly, Armstrong makes the loose man and he's out on his own. Now he's off. Morris is bearing down. Armstrong riding towards full forward. Thompson dropping back. Cleverly should mark. Carlton mark in front, not paid. Perry's there. Comes out to Magro and Perry who are fighting, but Magro will clear with a long hand pass to Manassa. He'll give it to Wearmouth. No, he's caught with the ball. Dropping the ball. Oh, the, oh that's a ridiculous decision. Great tackle. And Manassas got the free kick. Bounced the ball when he was grabbed. That is an atrocious decision by umpire Nash. Downfield it goes Worthing to the leaper. Brown is with him. Here comes Barham. Downfield it goes David Mackay in front position. Well battled there, Stewart. Kink at right team player to Bond. Bond there looks for Peter Moore. Well spoiled by Southby. And the umpire's whistle is going as Mackay and Stewart are having a personal fight. Mackay takes the free kick. Well, the that was really... Carlton deserved a little bit of fortune after that bad decision. There's Max Richardson being spoken to by the Collingwood runner. Spoken to very vehemently. As Mackay's kick is not a good one through Wearmouth's hands. Thumped across by Morris. Here comes Jesse Lincoln. Towns missed him. Worthington, good hand pass to Ireland. Downfield it goes underneath at Jones. Behind the pack is a chance for Collins. Collins across to Brown. Brown misses what he should have taken. Chance for Pickett. Pickett in trouble. Well dodged from Worthington. Downfield, Mark McClure. Big save. That was sensational. That was simply sensational by McClure. A great hand pass to Towns. Towns has got the chance to go past Thompson. Good tackle then, Thompson. Keogh's tackle win not in possession. Still this Keo. Keo screws it back towards that point post. In front. Well, the umpires are just letting it go. And eventually the free kick goes to Catoccio. Well, umpire Nash is not distinguishing himself in the last five minutes. Vince Catoccio will take the free kick. There he is, hands across his face. He's certainly been pummeled today. Fitzpatrick has a few scholarly words to Thompson. There's this young man who's burst from obscurity to fame in the last three or four weeks. Carlton leading by one point from an extremely difficult angle. We'll see whether he might try the banana kick. Vince Cataccio, close to the man, the mark. My word, it's through. It's through. There was nobody home. If there'd been somebody on the line, they could have touched it, and Carlton, a richly deserved goal. Catoccio second. Both in this third term, and he's still in plenty of trouble. Peter Jones goes in and says, well done. And the Blues now lead by seven points, 15 minutes into the third term. About to restart. Fitzpatrick this time, he's going to run the towards his own goal, so he'll come at Thompson and Worthington. Thompson runs right in and will penalise uh, his side as Fitzpatrick gets the free kick. Not a good kick by Fitzpatrick. No one wants it, except the one and only Billy Pickin, who's marked at set a half back, and that's ten marks. Brown running the same way as the ball. Here's Barham with pace, but so is Mackay there. Mackay will kick the Blues out of trouble only momentarily because it's out of bounds on the full and Worthington will take the penalty for Collingwood between the wing and half forward he plays on Fitzpatrick is back there to support Southby but what a great leap by Moore brings the crowd to its feet and Moore climbing up over the top of Fitzpatrick to mark in the forward pocket as Southby says to umpire Nash bring him round to increase the angle. And umpire Nash will do that right now. <laughs> Moore.
four, has kicked three for Collingwood. A chance for his fourth, the Magpies seventh, and to make the difference one point. 30 metres out, an acute angle, he comes in. Right across the face, the behind, and the difference, six points at the 16 minute mark in the third term. Moore's tally, three goals, two. Well, if ever a man should have got a goal, for the merit of the mark, that one should have been, but it wasn't to be. South Bink, out wide. Thompson in perfect position. Didn't hold it. Isn't that ugly? Scurrying pack. Play still goes on. Tomo in the middle of it, but the whistle's gone ages ago. And then Thompson's to take a free kick. No, it's not. It's Max Richardson. Richardson. Looking for the aerial supremacy of Moore. Mackay's the leaper. Great hand pass, but it was flummed. Down goes Stewart. Picked up by Collins, of all people. Out to Ashman. Back to Collins' superb football. Goes for the run. Well played, Dennis Collins. Not a good kick. Jezelenko on Ireland. Jezelenko looks like winning. Here comes Tower Pickett. Magro, great football out to Barton. The runner is off. Peter Moore's the target again. Nobody at home except Stewart, but punched away by Austin out of bounds. Beside the behind post, the Magpies deep into attack. The breeze appears to have strengthened and blowing towards the scoreboard end, to which Collingwood are kicking in this third term. They trail by six points. Fitzpatrick and Moore. Fitzpatrick beautifully down to Ashman. So the Blues out of trouble. jezelenko has got his name on this one. On his chest. I think he may have said leave it to Barham. He plays it towards Towns. Sheldon on the ground. All down goes Towns behind play. Clever by Sheldon towards McClure. Pickham, McClure towards Armstrong with a good hand pass, quick under pressure, not a good kick, well trapped by McCormack who throws it to Morris, and the Magpies are out of trouble, Leapers, Mackay to Ashman, the Blues are moving again, Ashman short to McConville, too far, and McCormack there in the van again, taps the ball along in front of him, under pressure, well played McCormack and the Magpies are again out of trouble, Atkinson all on his own can run, Fitzpatrick a little late, Across to Stewart. No, he goes for a long kick. Kick and Austin. Austin is in front. Kick over the top. Another screamer. Quick in towards Byrne. Brown is coming for too late, and Byrne's marked in the true centre half forward position for Collingwood, and he's got a sore left knee. Brown let him know he was there. A goal by Byrne here will level the score at the 19 minute mark in the third term. 50 metres out from goal directly in front. Former Carlton player Ray Byrne with the ball for the Magpies. Five points the difference, his kick off line, and the Blues are still in front. Well, as Graham Dawson said, this is a win that's assisting Collingwood, and the lead's not big enough at the moment. Well done, Southby to Ashman. Hesitates and halts play. Ashman goes back. Down the direction of captain coach Jezelenko. Beautifully done, Jezelenko. Superb football, out we go to Towns, boots them into attack with a great pass to McClure. Here comes a chance for Sheldon, took it over the line out of bounds. But that was classical football, so it went right down the length of the ground without a Collingwood player touching it. The strength of number 25, Alex Jesuit. Strength, skill, everything a footballer should wish to have. Jones and Thompson, Thompson got hand there first, McClure's got a show. Diving at it with Sheldon. Still diving for it. Umpire's decision will be to bounce it. In a great ten minutes of football. Come the old timers. Len and Peter, but it was punched out nicely that time by McClure. Dropped by Magro. But he was pushed and takes the free kick. Stan Magro. Go back, says the umpire. James talking with the umpire. Sheldon on the mark as the interchange player for Katoggio is having a spell. We saw him get a nasty knock about 10 minutes ago. There's the kick falling a little short. Keo in front, punched away by Max Richardson down towards Towns. Looking for a free. He'll get it now as he was pushed in the back. Manassa disagrees <laughs> rather violently. It's umpire Sutcliffe now his displeasure. And Towns in front of the George Harris stand the Carlton Social Club to have a shot for goal the breeze blowing across him from the right side of the ground
chance to increase Carlton's lead to 11 points. Oh, well, that's a good looking kick. What a beautiful kick by Towns, and lead is 11 points. My word, that was a magnificently executed and judged kick. 58 to 47, Carlton lead, 11 points to margin, 22 minutes gone, third term. Back with umpire Neville Nash. Great first term, now a great third term. Capacity crowd. Fitzpatrick and Thompson. Thompson to Worthington. Worthington will be tackled. Thompson goes to help them. Hits it straight out to Ashman. Ashman has a shot for goal and blocks it through. Not noted as the longest kick in league football. Really did that beautifully, streaming down ground. And what a perfect goal it was. As he ran back to the centre, he said thank you very much to the Collingwood skipper, Len Thompson, who paddled the ball straight into his arms as he was running through. 17 points the Blues now lead, 23 minutes gone. Fitzpatrick running straight on. Interesting tactic there. Thompson and Worthington. Thompson again shepherds Fitzpatrick out. This time it's going to be a free kick to Thompson. Right in the centre circle to Barham with a hand pass. His kick under pressure. Keogh, too slow, good tackle. Out comes Manasseh under his arm. He wants to play rugby, but he bounced the ball instead. Has another bounce. His hand pass is smothered by Pickett. Atkinson's caught. Up in the air, Pennell in the middle of the pack to Wearmouth. He goes down. Keo, they all stopped, but there was no free kick, and the Magpies uh, downfield. The free kick will go as Keo was put down by Manasseh. The Magpies becoming a little frustrated. Free kick to Sheldon. He looks for McConville. Right on his hammer is McCormack. Great Mark McCormack, and he's off. Runs his full measure, at least 20 metres. Back towards the wing. Towns in front. Couldn't hold the mark. Barham knocks it on. Fitzpatrick. Good play. Taps it away from Bond and recovers himself. Towns calls for it. Can't mark, but uh, fortunately for Carton, the ball doesn't go out of bounds on the fall. It'll be thrown in centre wing, grandstand side. The Blues lead by 17 points, 24 minutes, third turn. Thompson, Fitzpatrick. Thompson wins the strength battle, but couldn't touch the ball. Town stumps it into Fitzpatrick. Ashman into Max Richardson on the next, as the umpire. And the free kick goes to Ashman. A very stern, vigorous tackle by Max Richardson but too high was the verdict. Down in the McClure direction where Pickens got front position. McClure will win this one, I reckon. Right race, he's got the free kick. He's got the free kick. He made position very well, did the blonde, this handsome young man from Sydney. Long kick down. He's a good kick, is McClure. Peter Jones and Thompson. Punch by Perry, eventually flopped through by Manasseh. Or Kevin Morris, it was, for one behind. Well, Carlton looking a million dollars, the 25-minute mark. Three goals they lead by, which is the biggest lead so far in the game. Certainly would appear that Carlton will have a fairly stiff breeze behind them in the final term. As McCormack will kick in. Not quite decided where to go. Thompson is almost straight down the ground, but he's looking for the aerialist Pickham, who goes over the top of Jezelenko, almost claimed a mark, was taken off him by a who, legged, uh, who was legged by Gessenico, got the hand pass to Magro, Bond and Harms, good play by Harms, oh, his recovery is excellent, and good ball handling, he thrusts Morris aside, good play Morris with determination, Worthington Shepherd strongly for Bond, go for the ball Brown, he does now, Bond towards Kink with a beautiful pass, superb play by Bond and Kink marks in front of Austin. Moore is his, in his target, and Southby punching it away, but it's a free kick to Moore in the goal square. For a push out, says umpire Nash against Southby and Moore from point blank range with a chance for his fourth goal. The Magpies desperately need it. At the 26 minute mark of the third term, they trail by 18 points as Moore comes in and kicks his fourth goal. The difference is now only 12 points. Four goals to Moore, two in this third term. That's 47 for the season for Peter Moore. 
And for a man who's supposed to be out of form and disappointing, and he has been at times, it's still not a bad effort. 47. He kicked 76 last year when he was one of the Magpies star players. When, as everybody remembers, they were, they were runners up to a brilliant North Melbourne side. <coughs> Well, some really stern, tough stuff there as well. Kevin Morris recovered from a great bump and fought it out in the ball, but to kink, then to more. Well, Peter Jones, his tactics, and Len Thompson's are both to be side by side. They're not famed big leapers. They get about two inches off the ground. Worthington's the big leaper, thumps it out wide. Keogh's in the lead for the race for the ball and is well shepherded. Uh, Good Keo pass to the great Jezalinko. Jezalinko then boots it down the half forward line. A late spring from behind. No McClure stays down. McCormick, a much, much improved player, takes yet another splendid mark. This young player who came from Assumption College has looked the acme or epitome of solidarity. Downfield, and here's a chance now for Weirmouth and his opponent Sheldon. Stewart out to Morris. Morris downfield, harms the leaper, couldn't make it. Keep call, let it come. Kink has got it and turns round. Dodges, hand passes across, and it's a dangerous one to Wayne Richardson. Down to Shane Bond. Here comes Southby. Runs into Bond. Gets him out of trouble, and Harms has got the run. Harms plays on down towards Towns in the centre. Which way will the ball bounce? Ha uh, Towns went to knock it across towards Armstrong, but intercepting is Manasseh. He's away. And will drive the Magpies right into attack. Southby taps it away from Moore. Comes out of the pack. Here we go through Pennell. Kicks Carlton out of trouble, straight back to where Thompson, Stewart and Pickin can all raffle it. And the mark will be paid to Stewart. And McClure will be penalised 15 metres for knocking the ball away. 15 metres, which is closer to 25. Stewart now in the centre. High, Moore, pushed Jones out, was seen by the umpire. And Jones will have a free kick at centre half back. Play on is the call, Peter Jones. He goes wide looking for Pickett. Barham's got the chance to come over the top. Pickett couldn't hold the mark. Got the chance. Faked the hand pass to Brown. Runs too far. Good tackle by Barham. In comes Byrne. They all miss it. Stewart. In towards full forward. And Harms takes a great mark under pressure with both Southby and Moore coming over the top. Harms in the back pocket to relieve the Carlton who lead by 12 points. Bunched himself up with this powerful little back pocket. David Mackay in front, well spoiled by Thompson, overrun by Keogh, missed by Weirmouth. Back in the business is Pennell. And then Thompson's got the chance. Tackled high by Mackay. The umpire said he held it too long. And Pennell and Weirmouth having a private scuffle behind the play. Mackay. Jezelenko and Ireland. Jezelenko wins it pointless. He thrashed Ireland in skill. In a flash out to Ashman. Ashman caught, can go again. Mark McCormick comes to meet him. Across it goes to McConville. Back to Ashman. Ashman left foot snap. Across it, it's marked. The Fitzpatrick. Well, Carlton was struggling, but all the time they're in command. And Fitzpatrick only a few metres out. But the angle, extremely acute. Get away from me, he says to Armstrong. Michael Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Angle would be a good 55 to 60 degrees, close to the man in the mark. It's one of the worst kicks I've seen for a long time. Sheldon tried to bring it into play, but it's out of bounds. The free kick to Morris. In the back pocket, grandstand side. Morris straight down the ground. Mackay and Jones are there for Carlton. Jones, but it's off hands to Keogh. Quick kick back towards full forward. Fitzpatrick again. Wants to do it on his own. Oh. Up teammate, son to do it again, this time out towards Keogh. Ball kicked off the ground dangerously to Pickett. Play on to the court, it wasn't 10 metres. Keogh again, hand pass out, intercepted by Ireland. He burns through the pack and is caught. Very unlikely will be penalised. Pickett to Keogh, who was standing flat-footed. Short pass, Ashman, 50 metres out directly in front. And on the run, he kicked one from a little further out earlier in this turn. Goal almost on three-quarter time would make Carlton's lead 18 points. Ashman. The Blues lead by 13 points. Ashman's kicked one goal, one. And certainly, 
the Carlton Rovers have roved the socks off uh, Collingwood. Ashman, Ruck Rover, Keogh. Been very constructive players. McCormack. Pickett and Barham struggle here with Billy Pickett from behind late on the scene. Armstrong wants to get round to his right foot and does it successfully. In front is Perry, Fitzpatrick with him, Wearmouth is where to. Goal to Ashman. A goal to Ashman and the little men have done it again. Right on the three-quarter time siren and so the Blues at three-quarter time have a 19-point lead. 10 12, 72, 7 11, 53, Collingwood, Ashman's second goal in that third term.